all your roofing needs. Roof pulled back. It was covering us in the about 345 time range, and then they opened it up about an hour or so later as the weather system blew through. This Wednesday, take a nine-inning lunch as the Mariners wrap up this homestand. 12.40 start time. The Kings on the mound as he will take on. Felix Hernandez will take on these White Sox, who also will not want to miss his return. So get those tickets. Go to Mariners.com. Rick Riz, Dave Sims, Kevin Kremen, producer engineer. Rick, good to be back with you here on the radio side for these three games before we hit the road again. And Boys, got to do a big bounce back. That was truly, in the immortal words of Bugs Bunny, that was a stinker yesterday. It really was, and the manager of the ball club said so, Scott Service. He said that was the worst ball club, ball game that we played all season long by my ball club. And he said, but now it's a brand new day. You bounce back, and the Mariners have done that throughout the course of the year. Tough one last night. That's ancient history. Now you got to concentrate on one of the game's best pitchers in Chris Sale of the White Sox. Got a tough guy coming to the plate here to lead off for the Chicago White Sox. He's Adam Eaton. And I'll tell you all about it as we play ball. Here's Rick Ritz. All right, David, thank you very much. And tonight's first pitch of the game brought to you by StockCharts.com, simply the web's best financial charts. That's StockCharts.com. What a night out for baseball. Welcome to Safeco Field, everybody, for game one of this three-game series with the Chicago White Sox. First meeting of the year between these two clubs. On the mound for the Mariners, Wade LeBlanc getting ready. Adam Eaton, the leadoff batter. Here's the windup and the pitch. Fastball is up high for ball one, and we are underway. Mariners decked out in their home whites tonight for the opening game of the series. White Sox in their road grays. The windup and the 1 0 pitch. Swing and a foul straight back off the screen behind home plate. And the count evens on Eaton at one ball and one strike. Game time temperature 70 degrees. The roof wide open. We have popped the top. What a night out here in Seattle. The windup and the 1 1 swing and a foul right back behind the plate one more time. The count is 1 and 2. LeBlanc is going to throw strikes. Three starts on the year 1 and 0 with a 3 5 2 ERA, only three walks. He'll make you swing the bat. He'll locate that fastball about 86 to 88 miles an hour. Good changeup, good breaking ball. The windup and the 1 2. Swing and a miss and an off speed pitch down and away for strike three. And LeBlanc comes away with a strikeout on the first batter that he faces. One away for the White Sox. But LeBlanc does such a good job of changing speeds. That one came in at 76 miles an hour. So he backs off that fastball about 86 to 88. And here is shortstop Tim Anderson, talented young player, just turned 23, right handed hitter. The windup and the pitch. Fastball is high. For ball one, that fastball at 88. Anderson in 31 ball games since coming up from Triple A Charlotte back on June the 10th is hitting 279. Four home runs, 10 RBIs. The line of the pitch, swing and a fly ball deep to left field, down the line, and this one is gone into the upper deck in left field by Tim Anderson. His fifth home run of the season reaches about four or five rows back. Into the upper deck and left, high above Edgar's sign, which is on the facing of the upper deck. And just like that, the White Sox jump out to a quick one to nothing lead here in the top of the first inning. That was some kind of home run by that youngster, Tim Anderson. My goodness, about 10 rows up. So, Tim Anderson with a home run here in the top of the first inning, one out, and that'll bring up first baseman Jose Abreu. They've got the shift on for Abreu, the windup and the pitch. Strike called, and it's 0-1. Home plate umpire is Joe West. Calling balls and strikes. Kerwin Danley is the umpire at first. Andy Fletcher at second. Mark Ripperger, the umpire at third. The windup and the next pitch. Strike on the inside corner with a breaking ball, and the count is 0-2. Abreu, young man out of Cuba. He was part of that Goodwill tour back in December. Had a chance to go back to his native Cuba. Very emotional time to get together with his family back in Cuba. Here's the pitch. Lone inside in the dirt for ball one. One ball and two strikes. Abreu, right-handed hitter. 272 average, 11 home runs, 52 RBIs. The windup and the pitch, swing and a line drive the other way. Down the right field line, in toward the corner. Fair ball, all the way to the wall. Abreu heading for second. Up of the ball is Gutierrez. The throw in is going to be cut off by Cano. And Abreu waltzes into second base with a one-out double. 
So after striking out the leadoff batter, Adam Eaton, the home run by Tim Anderson, and now the extra base hit by Abreu. 1 0 Chicago, and here is left fielder Melky Cabrera. The jam shot, and he's so strong, he was able to muscle it in to right field down that line and into the corner. Pretty impressive. And he broke his bat in the process. LeBlanc working from the stretch, and the pitch to Cabrera is a little bit in for ball one. Cabrera batting 295, eight home runs, 41 runs batted in. He's been red hot for Chicago last 15 games, hitting 361. Here is the set by LeBlanc and the 1 0. Swing and a foul at the plate, and the count is even on Melky at one ball and one strike. Scoring runs has been mighty difficult lately for the White Sox. They lost 8 to 1 yesterday to the Angels. Prior to that, they were shut out three consecutive games. They've been shut out six times over the last 15 games. They have a quick run tonight here in the opening inning on the home run by Tim Anderson. But they had a stretch of 34 and a third consecutive scoreless innings until they picked up a run yesterday against the Angels. LeBlanc a look back and the 1 1 to Cabrera up and away. Ball two. Two balls and a strike. Cabrera hitting 295. Eight home runs, 41 runs batted in. Switch hitter batting from the right side. With Todd Frazier due up next. LeBlanc ready, checks the runner and the left hander's 2 1 pitch. Swing and a pop up outside of first and out of play. And the count is even on Cabrera. And two balls and two strikes. White Sox managed by Robin Ventura, fourth year at the helm of the White Sox. And took over the ball club without any managerial experience. Same thing for Scott Service when he took over the Mariners during the offseason. Robin Ventura for a long time, outstanding third baseman for the White Sox and the New York Mets. Got a delay, something ball or something's on the track down the left field line in Bartman territory. One of the attendants went to go get it. That's why the hold up Joe West saw it, the home plate umpire. Yeah, that's been taken care of. Abreu on its second, one out, one in, top of the first inning, one nothing Chicago. The block looks in as a sign from Chris Ionetta and the 2 2 pitch swing and a ground ball wide of third. To his right is O'Malley off his glove. Deep into the hole, it's short. Picks it back up, no chance to get Cabrera. That's going to be an infield base hit, and Abreu will have to stay at second base. Kyle Seeger went way to his left, couldn't get to it. Cabrera went out leaning for that pitch with the swing and was able to pull it right into the hole, it's short. Beyond a diving Kyle Seegers, O'Malley sliding to his right, hit off his glove. So the White Sox now have runners on at first and second with one out. Ionette out to the mound. Have a talk with Wade LeBlanc. Sean O'Malley hitting the start at shortstop tonight for Cattell Marte. A little bit under the weather with a bad cold. And, he, and Scott Service said he might be available later on in the ballgame, possibly to pinch hit if he needs him. Here's Todd Frazier. The set and the pitch. Frazier with a swing and a ground ball up the middle. Cano to his right. Only play with a long throw to first, and it's in time to get Frazier. And on the play, Abreu will get to third and Cabrera to second base. Cano had to get to the other side of second behind the bag. No chance for O'Malley to try to get to the bag and try to get a force on Cabrera, who gets the second, Abreu to third. But Robbie was able to get to it. A strong throw to first to get Todd Frazier for the second out of the inning. Two on and two outs, and here's second baseman Brett Laurie from Langley, British Columbia, batting 255, 11 home runs, and 35 runs batted in. One of the new faces on this ball club. He was an Oakland Athletic last year. The stretch and the pitch from LeBlanc. Curve ball strike on the outside corner, 0 and 1, slow curve at 75 miles an hour. With the A's last year, Laurie hit 260. 16 home runs had 60 runs bad and in in 149 games. The stretch and the pitch in the dirt knocking it down. Ionetta, good stop by Chris. The ball one, one ball, then one strike. 
Warriors last 20 games he's hitting 355. There's those black socks way up high. LeBlanc looked in in and has the sign from Ionetta. Here's the stretch and the 1 1 to Laurie. Swing and a broken bat. Line drive caught behind the bag at third by Kyle Seeger. It's a couple of steps to his right. And Ben will retire the side. White Sox in one run on three hits. A home baseball on 710 ESPN Seattle. Well, we go to the bottom of the first inning. The White Sox lead it one to nothing. Daniel Robertson will lead things off for the Mariners against veteran left-hander Chris Sale, a 14-game winner. He has more wins than anybody right now in the American League, 14 and three, with a 3.380 ERA and 18 starts, 125 innings. That's number two in the American League, fourth in strikeouts with 123. Good fastball, outstanding slider, and a changeup. Slender left-hander, and he can pitch. Robertson ready. Here's the lineup, and the first pitch by Sale is a fastball in there for a strike, and it's 0-1. Daniel batting 250, no home runs, and one RBI limited duty since coming up from Tacoma. The next pitch on the way, and it's outside for ball one. One ball and one strike. Chris Sale, the starter for the American League. In the Midsummer Classic on July the 12th in San Diego. Fastball on the way. Swing and a foul tip into the glove of the catcher, Deano Navarro. And the count is one and two. Sales fastball anywhere between 93 and 97 miles an hour. Drops down a little bit with that slider. Here's the windup and the one-two pitch. Fastball is up and away. Ball two. Two balls and two strikes. A little more heat on that fastball at 94. But he's coming off a rough outing his last time out right before the break against Atlanta. The windup and the 2-2 swing and a foul tip into the glove of Navarro. A fastball at 95, strike three. And there's one away. one nothing Chicago. Say friends, the ultimate lineup at Dwayne Lane's Auto Family now has Subaru, Mazda, and Ford Lincoln with six locations, nine brands, and 1,500 vehicles. They're going to take care of you in Everett, Arlington, Cedro Woolley, Burlington, and of course at DwayneLane.com. Here's right fielder Franklin Gutierrez. Scott Service trying to get as many right handed bats in that lineup against the lefty Sale. The wind and the pitch outside for ball one. At the All Star game, Sale went one inning, gave up a hit, a run, a home run to Chris Bryant of the Chicago Cubs. Well, the American League won 4 to 2. Swinging a ground ball right back up the middle of base hit for Franklin Gutierrez. Solid single up the middle. And the Mariners have the tie and run aboard. One on and one away. And that'll bring up second baseman Robinson Cano's had success against Sale down through the year. Six for 19 for an average of 316. Franklin Gutierrez turning around a fastball middle away and hit it hard right back up the middle. So Goody out at first base with one out. Sale now works from the stretch to face Robinson Cano batting 309, 21 home runs, matching his total from a year ago. 59 runs batted in. The pitch, swing and a ground ball to Hopper to the second baseman Lori Over to second for one, the relay to first, and it's in time to double up Cano, and that will retire the side. They get Goody at second, a double up Cano, 4 6 3. Sports.com, all at your fingertips. On the 710 Seattle Sports app, it's the best way to stay plugged into the pulse of Seattle sports. Seattle Mariners baseball. On 710 ESPN Seattle. Designated hitter, Avisail Garcia, will lead off the top of the second. The pitch, swing, and a pop up into shallow right field. Coming in, Franklin Gutierrez, he's there. And makes the easy catch right away. One pitch, one out for the White Sox. Our Red Hook score. It's the White Sox one and the Mariners nothing top of inning number two. And Wade LeBlanc has a quick first out. Here's center fielder J.B. Shuck. Shuck batting 244, three home runs and 12 runs batted in. Former Angel. Left-handed hitter. LeBlanc ready to wind up and the pitch. Up and away for ball one. Chicago run in the first on a long home run by shortstop Tim Anderson reaching the upper deck in left field. Close to third base off the line, Kyle Seeger. Next pitch, slow curve and a beauty for a strike on Shuck as the count goes the one and one. 
LeBlanc doesn't waste too much time between pitches. He's ready to go. Here's the windup, and now the 1 1 to Shuck. Low and outside, ball two, two balls, and a strike. He's not going to overpower you. He said the other day after a really good start against the Baltimore Orioles, he said, hey, I don't have great stuff, but I know how to use it. Here's the pitch. One on, ground ball right to Robbie Cano at second base. Scoops it up, throws to Lee at first, in time to get Shuck, and there's two outs, and that's the art of pitching, knowing who you are. Throw strikes, get people out. Let's pause for station identification. This is the Alaska Airlines Mariners Radio Network. Hey, Mariners fans. Mike Salk here the Brock and Salk Show. Two weeks from tonight, the team will look very different, potentially, as the trade deadline will have come and gone. In fact, they'll get Felix back this Wednesday night. How will things change when the King returns? We'll discuss tomorrow morning at 7 o'clock on Brock and Salk, 710 ESPN, KIRO, AM, Seattle. Two up, two down. one nothing Chicago, top of the second. Here's catcher Deanna Navarro. The pitch by LeBlanc in there is strike. 0-1. Navarro batting just 201, five home runs, 23 runs batted in. The windup and the 0 1 pitch, check swing, and it's outside. One and one to count on Navarro. Chicago as a team batting 249, 13th in the American League. 369 runs, 13th in the American League. Here's the pitch. Down low, ball two, two balls and a strike. And just 88 home runs. That's 13th in the American League. The windup and the 2 1 pitch. Navarro checks his swing and it's outside for ball three. Three balls and a strike. Contact leadoff batter, right fielder Adam Eaton. 1 0 Chicago. LeBlanc back with a 3-1 pitch, swing, and a fly ball into straightaway left field. Daniel Robertson right in his tracks. Now he takes about a half step to his right to make the catch. And that's it for Navarro and the White Sox here in the top of the second. We go to the bottom of any number two hour score. The White Sox won. And Rainstorm earlier this morning to live up in Issaquah, and it was really coming down. Here's the windup and the pitch. High and outside on Cruz for ball one, but it has turned out to be a beauty tonight. Here in Seattle. Wind up and the next pitch. Swing and a fly ball into shallow right field. Coming in is Eaton. And on the run, he's there to make the catch toward the line. And one away for the Mariners here in the second. Well, tonight's Men of Steel report brought to you by Steel Power Equipment. Let's go down to AAA Tacoma. Infielder DJ Peterson has reached safely in 14 of his first 15 AAA games. He has appeared in this year. Coming up from AA Jackson. He's batting 339. With a triple, five home runs, and 19 runs batted in. Good to see that young man having a good year at AAA. Here's the pitch to Dejo Lee, a swing and a foul back. And out of play, 0-1. Tonight's Men of Steel report brought to you by Steel Power Equipment, built in America, believing in America, number one in America, Steel Power Equipment. The windup and the 0-1 to Lee, outside for ball one. One and one. Dejo started in... Korea for 11 years and Japan for four. Here's the next pitch. High and wide. Ball two, two and one. Great to see our good buddy, former Mariner closer Kazuhiro Sasaki on the field before the ball game tonight. He threw out the ceremonial first pitch. Next offer and a swing and a miss. And a change up and the count is even on Lee at two balls and two strikes. Kaz went out there and threw a strike. And in 2001 nobody better Closing out games. The pinch swung on. Ground ball right to the third baseman. Todd Frazier bobbles, recovers. Wide throw at first, but it's handled by Abreu with a little crossover step to his left in time to get Lee for the out. Two outs for the Mariners here in the second. But good to see Cosby for the ball game. We had a chance to visit for a little while. His family is here. He said he's in town just for a few days on vacation. But back in 2001, when the Mariners won a major league record, tied the record, with 116 wins, Kazuo Sasaki had 45 saves. What a year. Here's third baseman Kyle Seeger. 1-0 Chicago. The pitch. Fastball from Sale. Runs inside on Kyle at the belt. Ball one. Seeger batting 287. 18 home runs. 62 runs batted in. Sale the windup, kicks, delivers, swing and a fly ball into the gap in left center field on the run. Long run, Cabrera to the track, reaches up and he makes the catch. A step onto the warning track in left center field, hauls it in for out number three. 
Baseball. Baseball. On 710 ESPN Seattle. One nothing White Sox, top of the third. Here's Dave. All right, thank you, Rick. First pitch from LeBlanc to Adam Eaton. It's a breaking ball out uh, on the outside corner for a strike. 0 and 1. LeBlanc, a quick worker, and so is Chris Sale. LeBlanc into his wind and a pitch. Fastball down low for ball one, 1 1. Top of the order here for the White Sox. Eaton, Anderson, and Abreu. 1 0. White Sox are red hook score. LeBlanc working from the first base side of the rubber pitch in the left hand hitting Adam Eaton. Next pitch, breaking ball, swung on and passed. A stretched out Cano into right field for base hit. Robbie took a step and could not get to it. Alaska Airlines was ranked the number one airline by the Wall Street Journal three years in a row. Committed to excellence, committed to service, committed to you. Tim Anderson, 6'1", 185. And there's a lot of guys who are 285 pounds would like to hit a ball as well as he hit it his first time up on a 1-0 pitch. Hit it about 10 rows up in the upper deck here at Safeco Field. Anderson, big knee bend, open stance, right hand hitter, looks at a pitch down low for ball one. For Anderson, his fifth home run, RBI number 11. Highly regarded youngster, number one prospect in the White Sox organization, number one pick back in 2013. LeBlanc comes set. Checks the runner, breaking ball, and a foul tips is Joe West. And that's strike one, one one. Joe McEwing coaching at third for the White Sox. Daryl Boston at first base. White Sox come in 45 and 46, fourth place in the American League Central. Nine games behind first place, Cleveland. 1 1 from LeBlanc. And the pitch off the fist, fouled off first base side out of play. Ball and two strikes to Tim Anderson. Rick, you mentioned it earlier. These guys were struggling mightily at one point, 40 out of their last 41 innings. They didn't even score a run. Yeah, I mean, uh, the offense has really been turned off over the last uh, week or so, not scoring hardly anything. And they had that stretch where they were shut out three games in a row. Here's a throw over to first back easily is Eaton. I was talking to Robin Ventura and Don Cooper, the pitching coach. And Robin, how's your season been going? Good start, 17 and 8. Pitching's good, bullpen's good. Still looking for the offense, even though they were in first place for 42 days. Here's another throw to first. Back safely. And the other thing, remember the whole Wade, La- uh, I mean, uh, LaRoche. Adam. Adam LaRoche. He and his son, that whole controversy. That has come and gone. They've totally forgotten about that. He left about $13 million on the table. Yeah, that's now that's kind of hard to forget. Here's a throw over to first again as he keeps Eaton close. Eaton's 11 out of 14 in base down. It's kind of tough to walk away from. Uh, it's hard to even say, let alone even do. LeBlanc comes set, one two pitch here coming to Anderson, a long hold, and he comes to the plate. Pitch swung on, and a one hopper to Cano. Flip to O'Malley coming across the bag, ducking his Eaton. Throw to first for the double play. Taylor made easy one hop. And Eaton never even got a chance to get within 15 feet of the bag. And what really made that double play was Robbie Cano just popping the ball right over the bag and making O'Malley come to the ball and come across the bag to get to it, to get the force there in Eaton. And it was just a perfect little feed right there by Cano, drawing O'Malley to the bag at second base. The relay in time double play. And Sean made double sure he contacted the bag. He touched it with both feet. Off-speed pitch, swing and a miss to Jose Abreu. And a broken bat double down a right field line. His first at bat. one nothing White Sox. First of three here in Seattle. Two night games and then a matinee. 12-40 start Wednesday. King Felix will be back. 0-1 pitch. Swung on and fouled off. Upper deck. I think that goes into the mid-deck first base side. So LeBlanc is ahead of Jose Abreu. 0-2. Two outs, nobody on. Brave tapping the whole plate with the bat. Now he's set and so is LeBlanc. The 0-2 pitch swung on and fouled back behind home plate. Count remains 0-2. Look at that. Abreu, a good fastball hitter, but he was late on that fastball at 86 because of the two good changeups on the first two pitches. And that's the art of pitching right there, messing up your timing. Even though you don't throw that hard, 
you use that changeup to make your fastball appear to be quicker. Abreu might be just what the doctor ordered for LeBlanc because Abreu has spent a lot of time swinging pitches off the plate. Here's the 0-2 from LeBlanc. Down and in. Moves him off a little bit. Ball one. Abreu with 11 homers, 52 runs batted in. Pretty much straight up as how the Mariners play him in the infield. Rocks and deals. LeBlanc deals one and two down in the dirt. Blocked by Chris Ionetta, who has had the last two days off. He'll lead off the Mariners third. Robertson, Martin, and Gutierrez in the outfield for the Mariners. Seeger, O'Malley, Cano, and Lee, the infielders. 2 2 to Abreu. Swung on and miss. Breaking ball. And Abreu with Ionetta applying the tag. And that concludes the third inning for the White Sox. No runs, one hit, no errors, and nobody let them in the third with Chris Ionetta against Chris Sale. First pitch from Sale. Fastball in there for called strike one. Ionetta days off the last two. Mental health days as much as anything. A struggling over his last 17. Out in front of a breaking ball, 0-2. Chris sitting at 215, seven homers and 21 runs batted in. Talking to you. Scott Service about Chris over the last couple of days. Here's the next pitch from Sale. A fastball running away for ball one. And Chris Ionetta is as hard on himself as anybody on the ball club. A useful two days off for him. One, two from Chris Sale. The pitch swung on and popped up. Short right field. Adam Eaton coming in. And a left hander makes the catch. He's one away. Follow the Mariners on all of your favorite social media networks for breaking news, access to behind-the-scenes footage, ticket specials, and more. To find all the ways you can connect with the club, visit Mariners.com slash connect. One out here in the Mariners' home third, trailing one nothing. Deonis Martin, the hitter, hitting a 246. 11 home runs and 26 runs batted in. He's a lefty facing a hard-throwing lefty, Chris Sale, and a fastball inside off the plate for ball one. I don't envy lefties at all tonight. Cano, Seager, and Martin. First of all, that great stuff. 1-0 pitch, swung on, a broken bat, foul ball, third base side. And then, play. and then he drops down by way of that first base line, so he's throwing the ball, starting to throw the ball behind you. Mm -hmm. At least that's what it looks like. Absolutely. Here's the 1-1 one, one from Sale. Pitch, they dropped down on him that time, delivered a fastball down low for ball two. Sale, one of the elite pitchers in all of baseball. Here's a 2-1 pitch, breaking ball, hit down a third base line. That will just get foul. Third base umpire Mike Ripperger was right there on it. Had a lot of English on it as it went just inside the bag, and boy, that was close. Two and balls, two strikes. It's not where it lands, it where if it crosses the Ooh. bag, and it sure looked like it crossed the corner of the bag. You can make a case for that. Yeah. Two balls, two strikes. Chris Sale, 6'6", 180, out of Lakeland, Florida. Deals two and two. Breaking ball, missed inside. Count runs full. Leonis Martin. Infield straight up, outfield tilted just a touch to the left. Here's the payoff pitch from Sale. Breaking ball missed inside as he dropped down. And the Mariners have a base runner. Their second of the evening. It's the first walk issued by Sale, and that'll bring up Sean O'Malley. That's always worthy of a note because this guy doesn't walk anybody. Only his 27th walk on the year, Dave, and 18 plus starts. He throws a lot of strikes. Brings up Sean Malley, who O'Malley, who has been rather productive in his limited time here with the Mariners this season. Malley switch hitter going to bat right-handed. Last 17 games, hitting 367, three runs, four doubles. First pitch from Sale shows bunt and takes pitch outside for ball one. Well, I'm Sean. I'm taking a look at that wide open space on the right side of the infield between Laurie and Abreu. Look for a fastball away and just try to shorten up your swing and hit the ball the other way. That would allow Martin to get around to third base with a base into the right field. Sale from the stretch. The 1 0 to O'Malley. Swing on. Popped up. Short right field towards the line. Eaton is there. Foul territory. Makes the catch. 
for out number two. Quick check of the Northwest Chevy Dealer scoreboard. Texas four, Angels nothing down at Anaheim. That's in the third. Houston and Oakland 1-1 top the third in Oakland. Mets lose at the Cubs 5-1. Cubs in an eight-game losing streak to the Mets. Yankees beat Baltimore 2-1. Miami in 11 beat Philly 3-2 in Philly. Cleveland 2-2 with Kansas City bottom eight. Cardinals 9, San Diego 2 in the 8th. Tampa Bay trailing at Colorado 3-1 top 5. Atlanta lost at Cincy 8-2. And Detroit 1-0 over Minnesota. Runner goes. Throw down a second. Navarro and the throw hits the runner, Martin. And a stolen base for Leonis, his 10th of the season. That's great to see right there by Martin. Testing that uh, straight left hamstring that put him on the disabled. Mariners are looking for... That speed in the second half of the season, you need Martin to go out there and steal some bases, especially in a game like this with a guy on the mound like Chris Sale. Tough, tough hombre on the mound. The hitter's Daniel Robertson. 1-0 pitch. Sale delivers. Fastball down low. Miss. 2-0. Outfield not deep for Robertson. Cabrera, Shuck, and Eaton left to right. Todd Frazier, Tim Anderson, Brett Laurie, and Jose Abreu in the infield with Deanna Navarro behind the plate. Good count here for Robertson. The 2-0, a sale checks the runner. Comes home with the pitch, breaking ball, swung on, and driven to deep left center field. Going back is the center fielder, Shuck, near the track, and the left-hander makes the catch. About a step on the track in deep left center field. No runs, no hits, no errors, and a man left with a man. hook score. 1-0 Chicago. Melky Cabrera to lead off the top of the fourth inning. Wade LeBlanc ready. Delivers a strike called 0-1. Fastball at 87, but well located right on the outside corner. Cabrera 1-for-1 one one with a single back in the first inning. Here's the windup and the 0-1 pitch. Breaky ball. Swing and a fly ball out of play down the right field side of the count. He is now nothing and two. I love the way both these guys, both starters, go about their business. They don't waste any time. No lollygagging. At all. Not <laughs> Did your parents use lollygag? Uh, uh, no, but I heard it in school a lot. <laughs> <laughs> the windup and the 0-2, and it's outside to Melky Cabrera. Ball, one, one ball, and two strikes. Yeah, in our neighborhood, that wasn't thrown around, but then when the priest and nuns would hit you with it, then you go, that's a different deal. The windup and the 1-2, swing and a little looper into shallow right center field in there for a base hit. Melky Cabrera just kind of tosses one out there. And the right center picked up by Franklin Gutierrez gets the throw in. Well, weekday sock wear any color but red. David Ortiz and the Red Sox take out our Abby Cano and the Mariners in a four-game series at Safeco from August 1st through the 4th. Get your tickets at Mariners.com. Your last look at Big Poppy, David Ortiz, his final year in the big leagues. And what a year it's been for David to bow out. Here is Todd Frazier, one on, nobody out for Chicago. They lead it one to nothing. LeBlanc kicks and he delivers. Swing and a foul tip into the glove of Ionetta. 0 oh 1 on Frazier. The Todd father. Frazier at 211 average, but he has 25 home runs. And he's in there just about every day. He's played 150 or more games each of the last three years. The stretch and the 0 1 pitch up high with a fastball for ball one, one ball, and one strike. With Cincinnati last year, hit 255, but had 35 home runs and 89 runs batted in. Won the home run derby last year when the All Star game was in his hometown of Cincinnati. And that was the big story of the year for the Reds. This year, finished to John Carlos Stanton. Here's a swing and a drive. Straight away center field. Martin going back, looking up. Goodbye, baseball. Todd Frazier with a two run home run here in the top of the fourth inning. His 26th of the year, and the White Sox now lead three to nothing here in the fourth. That's a big blast, and it looked like he was fooled just a touch. He just threw his hands at it and got the barrel to the ball and smoked it over the 401 sign. Big part of the ballpark, straightaway center field. Todd Frazier, RBI's number 58 and 59 on home run number 26. And here is Brett Laurie. New White Sox second baseman. The windup and the pitch from LeBlanc. Fastball for a strike 0 and 1. So for Chicago, their second home run of the night. Tim Anderson went into the upper deck at the left field. 
in the first inning. The windup and the 0-1 pitch swing and a foul tip into the glove of Ionetta. The count 0-2 on Laurie and Laurie takes a pretty good hack. Not as big as Carlos Gomez. Nobody does that, but Laurie will make a lot more contact than Gomez. The windup and the 0-2 and it's strike three called. He got him looking. Laurie disagrees with Oakland up by Joe West. Little LeBlanc with his third strikeout of the ball game and one away for the White Sox here in the fourth. Say, friends, the next Safeco Insurance Grand Slam family pack night is going to be set for tomorrow as the Mariners and the White Sox continue their series. Select tickets include a hot dog and a Pepsi at one special package value price. Visit Mariners.com to purchase your tickets. One out, two in here in the fourth. Chicago leads at 3 0. Here is Avisale Garcia, the pitch by LeBlanc, changeup. Down low for ball one. Good to see our buddies Ken Hawk Harrelson and Steve Stone here at the ballpark tonight broadcasting on television for the White Sox back to Chicago. Always a pleasure to meet him. Here's the next pitch swing and a foul back and the count is even on Garcia and one ball and one strike. Talking to Hawk he's going to turn 75 years young in September. He's got 56 almost 57 years in professional baseball Man, he could play. Outstanding hitter. Wind up and the pitch. Swing a ground ball. Hit hard but foul on the third base side. And the count is one and two now on Garcia. He had a lot of home runs. Late Hawk, oh, Hawk, oh, yeah. A lot of home runs. Remember being on the cover of SI? Mm-hmm. The whole golf uh, glove and batting glove story. Came up with the batting glove, which was an old golf glove. That's how it got started. Next pitch is low and inside. A breaking ball on Garcia. Ball two. Two balls and two strikes. I think he played about 36 holes of golf before a ball game one day it's at blisters. Here's the 2 2 pitch up and away for ball three, full count three and two. He asked the clubhouse kid, hey, go up in my pants and bring me my golf glove. My hands are hurting. Yeah. And they were playing the Yankees facing Wendy Ford. He put the golf glove on, a red golf glove, and hit a home run off of Wendy Ford. Here's the lineup and the 3 2 pitch. Low and inside in the dirt for ball four. Garcia with a walk. And that's the first walk given up by LeBlanc. One on, one away, two in, three nothing. Chicago in the top of the fourth. And of course, he was getting a lot of grief from Mickey Mantle and the bench. What are you doing, Hawk, wearing a golf glove? Well, then later on in the ball game, he hit another home run off of Whitey Ford. Hung a curveball, he said. And the rest is history. Didn't the Yankee, didn't Mantle go out and buy everybody golf gloves yes. the next day? The next day, red <laughs> golf right. gloves for everybody, yeah. <laughs> Those two were pretty good friends. I'm sure they had a good time after games. Here is center fielder J.B. Shuck. The stretch and the pitch from LeBlanc. Swing and a one-hopper to second. Snared to his left by Cano. Over to second one. Relay to first by O'Malley. Not in time. But holy smokes, what a play by Cano. Hit sharply to his left. Reached out. And was able to snare it, wheel around, get a throw to O'Malley for the force at second on Avisel Garcia. For the second out of the inning, they almost turned two, but J.B. Shuck is safe at first base, a 4-6 fielder's choice. But what a play by Cano. That deserved an extra note in the uh, scorecard as in, wow. That was extraordinary. Most guys don't get to that ball, let alone turn it and make a th- strong, accurate throw. That man is healthy this year, making outstanding plays, had the surgery to repair the double hernia that he played with the entire second half of last season. Last year, he couldn't even bend over and get to that ball. One on two outs, two in. Here's Deanna Navarro, the catcher. The set by LeBlanc. Check, Shuck. Here is the pitch. Curve, low and inside in the dirt, and another good stop by Chris Iannetta. But Robbie Cano doing such a good job defensively out there at second base. White Sox a game under 500, 45 and 46. Mariners right at 500, 46 and 46. The stretch and the 1 0 pitch. Change up a strike on the outside corner, 1 and 1 on Navarro. On deck is leadoff batter Adam Eaton. Wade LeBlanc. Spent seven years in the big leagues prior to signing as a free agent during the offseason with the Blue Jays. Did not pitch for Toronto. He was at AAA Buffalo this year when the Mariners found him. Here's a soft toss to first base to get shot back to the bag. 
At Triple-A Buffalo, LeBlanc was 7-2 and two and had a 1.71 ERA in 14 starts. Jerry DePoto calls up Toronto, says, hey, listen, I'd like that lefty down at Triple-A with some major league experience, and he made a deal for a player to be named later. The stretch and the left-handers, 1-1 one, one pitch. Instead, another move to first base. And Chuck is back one more time. They make the deal, and LeBlanc has been a really nice pickup. Three starts as a Mariner, 1-0 and with a 3.52. ERA, 31 years of age. Native of Lake Charles, Louisiana. Here's the stretch and the pitch. Navarro, a check swing, ground ball along the third base side. Picked up by LeBlanc. No throw to first. A swinging bunt by Deanna Navarro. By the time LeBlanc got there, and Ionetta, no chance to get Navarro. And down to second goes Shuck. And infield base in on a check swing where Navarro was trying to get away from the pitch. Right now, let's pause for station identification. This is the Alaska Airlines Mariners Radio Network. Hey, Mariner fans, it's Danny O'Neill from the Danny, Dave, and Moore Show. Looking forward to these Mariners getting things back on track. We'll see how they bounce back after Sunday's game. We know the skipper had some strong words for him. We'll tell you all what happened. We'll do it tomorrow at 3 on KIRO AM Seattle. 3 nothing White Sox. Here's Adam Eaton. Runners at first and second. Two outs. LeBlanc delivers. Swing and a fly ball. Shallow straightaway left field. Coming in, Daniel Robertson is there. And he puts it away for out number three. But in the top of the fourth inning, Chicago two runs. A two-run home run by Todd Frazier. Straightaway center field. We go to the bottom of the fourth out. Sale followed by Robbie Cano and then Nelson Cruz. The Mariners have one hit tonight off a of sale. And that was Goody's. Solid ground ball base hit up the middle. And right now, second baseman Brett Laurie is stationed behind the bag where Goody hit that ground ball in the first inning. Wide open right side for the first baseman Abreu way off the bag. Sell ready. The windup and the pitch. Fastball for a strike. 0-1. White Sox, well, they don't hit many home runs, but they already have two tonight. Tim Anderson, an upper deck home run to left. And Todd Frazier, home run to straightaway center in the top of the fourth. Here's a swing and a high fly ball center field. Drifting back is Shuck. JB is there to make the catch. And there's one away. Goody just got underneath it a little bit. Hey, folks, how would you like to celebrate Christmas in July and raise money for a great cause? Well, now you can. Just purchase a $20 view-level seat for the July 19th game against these White Sox. That's tomorrow night. And part of the proceeds will go to Toys for Kids, a 501c3 charity that will purchase new toys for homeless kids and underserved children during the holiday season. For tickets, go to seattlemariners.com slash Christmas. See you here at the ballpark tomorrow night. Here's the pitch on the way to Robbie Cano, a fastball that's inside for ball one. Robbie bounced into a 4-6-3 double play in the first. Sale delivers. Slider swing and a miss. Was that nasty? That slider took a U-turn on the inside corner down away to the outside corner. We were saying earlier, don't envy lefties tonight. Here's the 1-1 and a swing and a miss and another slider in the count is 1-2 and two on Cano. That is some kind of nasty pitch for Sale. A left-hander to a left-handed hitter. Shuck the center fielder out toward left center. Robbie taking some time. Now he's back up there. Sale ready. The windup and the one-two pitch. Low and outside. A fastball at 96. He almost dotted the outside corner. Good eye by Robbie. Two balls and two strikes. Sales fastball 93 to 97. He'll throw 60% fastballs. The 2-2. Two -two. Swing and a miss at a 97 mile an hour fastball for strike three. And there's two outs. And that is strikeout number two for Sale. And that is, that's tough, man. There's not many guys in the business who are going to get wood on that pitch. That was extraordinary. A slight crossfire 97. As they say, a lot of hair on it. Sliders away. Fastball up and in at 97. Here is designated hitter Nelson Cruz. Two up, two down. Three nothing Chicago. The pitch swing and a foul behind home plate by Cruz and the count nothing in one. That fastball at 96. Now the 0 for 1 is flying out to Eaton in right field. Cruz with a lot of success against Sales. 7 for 16. That's an average of 438 with two home runs. Here's the pitch inside. Ball one, one ball, then one strike. Well, the Atlanta Braves were able to figure him out his last start. That was right before the break. On July the 8th, the pitch. Swing and a foul back of the count, one and two. 
Sale, one of his few losses, he lost to Atlanta 8 to 6. He went only five innings and gave up eight runs, all earned on 10 hits. He walked two and he struck out five. The Braves made him work 88 pitches in just five innings. The 1 2. Up and in with a fastball. Ball two, two balls and two strikes. Let me start before that on July the 2nd. He beat Houston 7 to 4, going seven innings. The lineup and a 2 2 pitch. Swing and a miss at a slider for strike three. And that will end the bottom of the fourth. Strikeout number three for Chris Sale. We go to the top of the fifth hour score. Tonight from Safeco Field, the White Sox three and the Mariners. Fifth inning, Wade LeBlanc delivers to Tim Anderson. A strike on the outside corner, 0 and 1. Tim Anderson, 1 for 2. First time up of the first inning. Long home run upper deck in left field. Here's the pitch. Swung on. Little tapper fouled away. Off to the left side of home plate. And the count is 0 and 2. Anderson in 31 ball games, hitting 279. Now with 5 home runs and 11 runs batted in. He's coming up from Triple A Charlotte. LeBlanc ready, the windup, and the 0-2 pitch. Swing and a miss out in front of a changeup in the dirt, knocking it down. Ionetta, the throw to first to Lee in time. A strikeout for LeBlanc, his fourth. And the putout will go 2-3. A one away for Chicago. Well, LeBlanc tonight is topping out at 88 with his fastball throwing gas, brought to you by Exxon Mobil. We fuel your journey. Stop by your local Exxon Mobil today. Rick Riz along with Dave Sims on the radio side. Great to have David here for this three-game series with the White Sox. Here's first baseman Jose Abreu in the pitch. Slow curve, a strike, 0-1. Abreu with a double down the right field line in the first, and LeBlanc struck him out in the third. Here's the windup and the 0-1 pitch. Low and inside for ball one, one ball, and one strike. The blocks last outing had a rough time against Houston. That was on July the 6th. But overall, he's pitched well since the trade with the Blue Jays. Wind up and the pitch. Swinging a pop up outside of first and out of play. And it's 1 and 2 to Abreu. He made his Mariners debut on June the 24th right here at Safeco Field. A no decision. A 4 3 win over the Cardinals. Wade Miley was on the disabled list at the time. Jerry DePoto needed a starter. Went out, as we mentioned, and found LeBlanc with the Blue Jays organization. Here's the windup and the 1 2 pitch. Swung on line drive. Caught by Sean O'Malley to his right in shallow left field. Sean O'Malley on the run. About three or four steps in shallow left field toward the line. Makes the catch. Abreu uh, lines out. And there's two outs for the White Sox here in the fifth. That'll bring up left fielder Melky Cabrera. 3 0 White Sox. Cabrera is 2 for 2. He was aboard in the fourth when Todd Frazier hit his home run to straightaway center field. The wind and the pitch. Swing and a fly ball into right field. Gutierrez back it up. Franklin is there. Backpedal some more and he makes the catch for out number three. In the top of the fifth inning for the White Sox. No runs, no hits, no airs, nobody. Left on halfway point. We go to the bottom of the fifth. Off against Chris Sale. He's been mighty tough as advertised. The windup and the pitch. Sweeping slider is outside for ball one. Sale already with 14 wins. He won 13 all of last year. How in the world did he lose 11? But he went 13 and 11. Here's the pitch. Fastball is a strike on the inside corner. One and one. Led the American League in strikeouts last year with 274. That, by the way, was also a White Sox club record. Here's the pitch. Fastball, a strike, and it's one and two on Lee. Ed Walsh, back in 1908, had the White Sox record of 269 strikeouts. Here's the windup, and the one two to Lee, swinging a foul back, still one and two, but Sale got his 274 strikeouts in 208 innings last year, while Ed Walsh got his 269 strikeouts in 464 innings. 464. Here's the pitch, swinging a foul back, and the count is still one and two on Lee, battling Sale. Ed Walsh, I think, pitched every other day for the Chicago White Sox. That's a lot of innings, but. I too bad there's no film because he couldn't be as nasty as this kid. There's the pitch. Swing and a foul back by Lee. And the count is still one and two on Deho. Still up there battling Chris Sale. Yeah, I mean a guy like Sale with his stuff, I think, works in 
every era, every decade. Throwing 97 with a nasty slider. And a good changeup. The windup and the one two to Dejo. Way up high. Ball two. Two balls and two strikes. For sale. Against Seattle, he's 4 0 with a 2 6 6 ERA. The pitch slider, swing and a miss for strike three. Nasty pitch right there. Strikeout number four for sale. And there's one away for the Mariners here in the bottom of the fifth inning. 3 0 Chicago. Time for the Farmers Friendly Review. When it comes to insuring your home, be smart about it. Call your local Farmers agent today to learn more about their new Farmers Smart Plan homeowner's product. Chicago run in the first inning long home run upper deck Tim Anderson Todd Frazier a home run to center with a man on in the fourth and there's your scoring in this game here's third baseman Kyle Seager the wind up and the pitch fastball up and in and almost hit Kyle got out of the way from a 97 mile an hour fastball ball one sale looks in thin as a rail but man he whips that Ball up to home plate in a hurry. The wind up and the one nothing pitch. Slider strike on the outside corner. One and one. Works both sides of the plate. Fastball up and in where Seager had to get away. Now you throw that slider down and away. Here's the wind up and the one one pitch. Slider strike on the inside corner. So he went slider away. Fastball in now a slider in. he can command the slider on both sides of the plate. He's so on top of his game right now It's absolutely frightening and the one two pitch slider swing and a ground ball hit hard But right at Abreu at first he's got it takes it to the bag for the out on Seager and there's two outs So two up and two down that is one two three four five six seven in a row retired by sale the last base runner Leonis Martin walked with one out in the bottom of the third inning and right now, the only hit for the Mariners tonight, a one-out single by Franklin Gutierrez back in the first. This game moving along quickly, and here is catcher Chris Ionetta. Well, I know some of you are making your plans to head to Cooperstown, New York this weekend. Here's the pitch on the way, breaking ball that misses for ball one. Ken Griffey Jr. will be inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame on Sunday afternoon, July the 24th. Here's the pitch. Strike on the outside corner with a changeup, and the count is even on Ionet at one ball and one strike. So, congratulations to the kid, Ken Griffey Jr. The wind up and the 1 1, swinging a foul, back and out of play, one ball and two strikes. Jr., the highest percentage of vote total for the Hall of Fame in the history of the voting 99.3% of the votes. Here's the windup and the one two to Ionetta low and inside with a fastball barely ball two two balls and two strikes good night by Chris can't wait to hear his speech watch him on Sunday here's the pitch slider swing and a ground ball two hopper to third up of the ball is Frazier toss across in time to get Ionetta and that will end the bottom of the fifth no runs no hits no errors and nobody Left on. We go to the top of the sixth. Dale tonight, a 3 nothing lead. Mariners have one hit and only two base runners. Here's Todd Frazier looking at a breaking ball from Wade LeBlanc for ball one. Frazier, two-run homer. Back in the fourth inning. Straightaway center field over the 401 sign. Here's the 1-0 pitch down in the dirt for ball two. I'll never forget, Kren Griffey Jr. telling me about some guys that he had played with during the course of his career, who had just huge personalities. Here's a 2 0 to Frazier. Swung on, popped up out of play, first base side. Adam Dunn, Sean Casey, Mike Sweeney. So they're basically like the same guy, just vivacious, a bullion personalities. You're glad to see him, they're glad to see you. Todd Frazier, I put him in that category as well. What a fun guy, just always up, just happy on life. I love the guys that love playing the game. You and know, all they, those guys fit. They they got that joy when they put the uniform on. Two one pitch, in there for a called strike with a slider two and two. And and it shows there's certain guys that I met along the way. I won't mention this one guy, but he <laughs> just didn't like appear to enjoy what he was doing. He was playing in the big leagues, you know. It's just I, I didn't get it. He was on the other side of the scoring. Oh huh? yeah, oh yeah. Frazier right hand hitter swing and a miss. As LeBlanc beats him. With 82 miles an hour, that's the fifth strikeout for Wade. 
One down here in the sixth. Mariners trail. 3-0 to the White Sox. It's the perfect addition to your Collectibles Hall of Fame on Friday, August 5th. The first 20,000 fans pick up a bobblehead featuring Hall of Famer Ken Griffey Jr. Thanks to Root Sports. Get your tickets at Mariners.com. Brent Laurie looks at the pitch down low for ball one. Laurie tonight is 0 for 2. Soft line out to third base and took a cold third strike his last time up. LeBlanc lines and deals. Swung on and driven down to the left field line and going way foul. Middle deck. Counted 101. Brett Laurie. Slightly open stance. 1 1 pitch. Swung on and popped up. Playable. Going back is O'Malley. Coming in as Robertson calls him off. And Daniel makes the catch near the left field foul line for out number two. Here in the sixth inning. Tim Anderson, a big home run, upper deck left field in the first inning, and then Frazier straight away center field, a two-run shot in the fourth for the 3-0 lead. Meanwhile, Chris Sale has retired the last eight men that he's faced, struck out four. He's allowed one hit. He's walked one. There's only been two base runners for the Mariners. LeBlanc wants another ball. He throws it over to the ball boy on the first base side. The hitter's Abasil Garcia. 0 for 1 with a walk. Right hand hitter. Deep in the right hand hitter's box. LeBlanc from the first base side of the rubber, and he winds and deals up high for ball one. Third game for LeBlanc against these White Sox. Two meetings in the year 2013. Retired all 12 men that he faced. Next pitch up high again, ball two. That last pitch, 81 miles an hour from LeBlanc. He's behind here, 2-0. Pitch to Garcia. Swung on off the fist. Popped up foul out of play behind home plate. An incredible contrast of styles. LeBlanc, nice, easy motion. If he hits high 80s, that's saying something. Meanwhile, Chris Sale, mid-90s and better with a just a fabulous slider. 2-1 pitch. Swung on and missed. 85 miles an hour with a little wrinkle. Two and two. Two outs, top of the six. Three nothing Sox. White Sox over the Mariners. Here comes the 2 2 from LeBlanc. Swung on a line drive past O'Malley at shortstop in the left field. Robertson will get it back in. So a two out single here by Garcia. We pause for station identification. This is the Alaska Airlines Mariners Radio Network. Hey, Mariner fans, it's Bob here. Make sure you tune in to Bob Graz and Tom tomorrow. We'll be talking to the one, the only Michael Bradley. El Ombre joins us at 1 o'clock. Plus, we'll see what's happening in this game against the White Sox, game one of the series. We'll talk about that as well, starting at noon with Bob Graz and Tom on 710 KIRO AMCL. J.B. Shuck, center fielder, stands in. Second year with the White Sox. Houston in 2011. A couple of years with the Angels and one with Cleveland. And he looks an off-speed pitch for called strike one. Joe West has balls and strikes tonight. Kerwin Danley at first. Andy Fletcher at second. And Mike Ripperger at third. Their umpires for tonight. Blanc comes set. Not much of a lead at first by Garcia. And the pitch. Breaking ball. Swung on and ripped. Foul down the first baseline. Daryl Boston, the first base coach, said, no, 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 the other way. 0-2 to J.B. Shuck. Mariners have one hit tonight against Chris Sale. That's a Franklin Gutierrez single to center in the first inning. Nothing since. Trailing 3-0. LeBlanc. He's ready. Come set the 0-2 pitch. Swung on and foul back. 0-2 oh, to J.B. Shuck. Shuck at 240 hitter. Three home runs and 12 runs batted in. I just think I saw Shuck smell the barrel of his bat on that foul ball. I wouldn't be the first. Smelling if he <laughs> had a little burn mark mm-hmm. on the foul ball. The 0-2 pitch coming to Shuck. Swung on and hit the day holy one hop, step and a half to the bag, and that'll do it for the White Sox in the six. No runs, one hit. No errors, and a man left. 
Coming up for the Mariners, Martin O'Malley and Robertson. When we return, White Sox lead at 3 0. In the Northwest, we have crazy weather. Makes sense why there's a roof on Safeco Field and why we. Lefty against lefty here. Infield straight up. Sale into his windup. And the first pitch is a fastball called strike one to Martin. He walked and stole second back in the third and was left stranded there. White Sox, a couple of home runs here tonight for the three runs. Breaks, throws a breaking ball, and a called strike to Martin. It does a 360 pirouette. Didn't like that Joe West call. It was a drop down breaking ball from Chris Sale. Here's the 0 2. Breaking ball, swung on and drilled down a right field line, foul by about three sections. 0 and 2 to Martin. How about that Joe Torre directive coming down yesterday, telling managers to knock it off. No more beefing balls and strikes. Stay in the dugout. Don't want to hear it. See how long they'll adhere to that. 0 2 pitch, fastball down low. I don't think it's going to stop. No, <laughs> neither. <laughs> But Joe's pretty firm about it. I'm sure the managers had their beefs too mm -hmm. every decade. One, two pitch. Martin didn't even wait for Joe West to ring him up. He knew he was done. Strikeout looking. That's strikeout number five for Chris Sale, who is throwing Rick and you and others of certain age will be able to appreciate this. A very Kofaxian oh. performance here tonight by Chris Sale. I mean, he's been unbelievable. The only hit that base hit by Gutierrez is up the middle, but really mixing in the fastball, which he throws a lot, but also the incredible slider, especially to left handed hitters, and the change. Here's O'Malley swung on and drills it deep to left. Going back, Cabrera reaches up in front of the 376 side, bangs into the wall, falls on his back. He makes the catcher's two down. Sean O'Malley charged one up, but the milkman went back to get it. And there's two away here in the six. Heck of a play. Jumped on that first pitch. And man, he got the barrel of the bat to the ball. And Cabrera, as he was running back, was reaching for that wall in left center field. At the last second, was able to get up in the air on the run and then slammed into the wall, hung on to the ball, made a great running catch deep in left center. Melky Cabrera fell on his back. Ten consecutive hitters retired here by sale. 14 and 3, the major league leader in wins. Here's Robertson. Breaking ball missed outside. Ball one. 3 0 White Sox. Three runs, eight hits, no errors. The Mariners, no runs, one hit, no errors. 1 0 to Robertson. Fastball outside. Misses for ball two. Robertson tonight. A strikeout and a fly to center. Sales got a heck of a rhythm going. 2 0 pitch. Inside corner is Robertson. Jack knives out of the way. It's a strike. 2 and 1. How come more guys aren't stepping out there? Letting him just dictate here. Here's a 2 1 pitch. Swung on, and this one, same spot. Left center field, not quite as far. Short of the track, Melky's there to make the catch. And Sale now has retired the last 11 men that he's faced. The 1 2 3 6 to the seventh, Deanna Navarro to lead off. The catcher batting in the nine hole against Wade LeBlanc. And a first pitch down low from ball one. LeBlanc hasn't been that bad. He's given up a solo home run to Tim Anderson, the first two run shot to Todd Frazier. In the fourth, he struck out five, walked one. Next pitch to Navarro's in there for a called strike. Count of one and one. Navarro to be followed by Adam Eaton and Tim Anderson. So nine, one, and two coming up here in the seventh. And a one one pitch. Slow breaking ball. Miss. No, it didn't. It. Joe West. So it did get a part of the inside corner for strike two. The LeBlanc ahead, ball and two strikes. And Pitts. Pitts swung on and fouled off. First base side, Nathan Carnes reached down over the rail and grabbed it with his cap, flips it to a kid. First row behind the Mariner dugout. Navarro, one for two, swinging bunt. A fourth inning to reach base. Here's the one-two pitch, and it's taken down low. The ball two, two and two. Fast moving game, LeBlanc against Chris Sale. So we play here top seven. A game that started back at 7-11 Pacific time. Two-two pitch, swung on, bounced up the middle into center field, base hit. A two for three night for Navarro. 
This copyrighted broadcast is presented by authority of the Seattle Mariners and may not be reproduced or retransmitted in any form. And the accounts and descriptions of this game may not be disseminated without the express written consent of the Seattle Mariners Baseball Club. Back to the top of the order, and Adam Eaton is one for three tonight. A strikeout, a base hit to right, and a fly to left. And at third is Seeger. Dale Lee holding the runner. Navarro at first. The block, first base side of the rubber from the stretch. First pitch, fastball up a little high for ball one. Tom Wilhelmson starting to loosen up. Twenty thousand nine uh, five hundred ninety eight on hand here. Here's the one zero pitch to Eaton. It's outside on a breaking ball. Count goes to one one. Eaton leads the American League. What an outfielder he is! Great arm, thirteen assists. And we saw him in center field last year when we went to Chicago. Make some terrific catches. Good player. 2-0 pitch from LeBlanc. Pitch swung on and sent to center field. Backing up about four or five steps is Martin. He's back there. He makes the catch. And left center field. And there's one away. LeBlanc closing in on 100 pitches for the night. That was pitch number 97. He saw a lot of strikes. 65 strikes. Quick check in the Northwest Chevy Dealer scoreboard. 11 games. Tonight, Cardinals beat San Diego 10-2. Detroit 1-0 over Minnesota. These are finals. Cincy 8-2 over Atlanta. Bottom seven, Tampa Bay trailing at Colorado 5-4. Here's Tim Anderson, the shortstop. Right-hand hitter, LeBlanc deals up high with a fastball, ball one. Home run in the first, double hit into a double play in the third and struck out in the fifth. One for three night for Tim Anderson. A block working at a very quick pace, as is Chris Sale. There's the 1 0 to Anderson. Pitch swung on and fouled off right side. Cat goes to 1 1. Other scores Kansas City beats Cleveland 7 3. So Kansas City picks up the game. They're now 7 behind first place Cleveland. Miami wins an 11 at Philly 3 2. 2 1 Yankees over Baltimore. Now the 1 1 to Anderson. The runner at first, Pitt swung on and fouled off right behind the Mariner dugout about the fifth row. Hopefully nobody got hurt there. Oh, two strikes. Cubs beat the Mets 5-1. Bottom four, Oakland 5-2 over Houston. That's in Oakland. And in Anaheim, Texas leads the Angels 4-3, heading to the sixth. Ball and two strikes to shortstop Tim Anderson. A long look by LeBlanc. Now he steps off. He wants Ionetta to go through the signs again. Lead off single by Navarro. Eaton fly to center. And now a 1 2 pitch here to Tim Anderson. LeBlanc's ready. Navarro not a running threat. Pitch swung on and sent to right field. Goody has it measured. Backs up a couple steps. Reaches up. The left hand makes the catch and there's two away. Chris Sale. 4 0 record against the Mariners. 2 0 here at Safeco Field, a 3 7 7 ERA. And he certainly improved on that through six innings here tonight. Two outs. Man at first, and Jose Abreu with a hitter. Double down the right field line, struck out. And a soft line out with the shortstop, Sean O'Malley. Big right hand hitter. Where's number 79? First pitch from LeBlanc. Swung on off the fist. Foul back up just below the White Sox TV booth into the press box area. Strike one. Mariners in the home seventh will have two, three, and four coming up. Goody, Cano, and Cruz. Cano now resets on the right side. Of second base and a pitch to Abreu. Off the plate, swung on and fouled it back. So LeBlanc in charge right now, 0 and 2. Abreu, big, strong, right hand hitter. 11 homers, 52 runs batted in. 
The block looking in has a sign from Ionetta. Two out, no two pitch to Abreu. And he checked his swing. They appealed out of first base. Kerwin Danley, umpire there, said he did not go. So it's ball one, one and two. Out in center field, Martin shaded a couple of steps towards right for Abreu. LeBron Red, ready. Here comes the one two to Abreu. Fastball, strike three called. He did not object. He too did not wait for the call from Joe West. Nice job by LeBlanc to strand a runner at first base. Nothing across in the seventh. It can get something going here in the home seventh. Goody to lead off. Franklin Gutierrez, Robinson Cano, Nelson Cruz. No runs, one hit. Goody got it as he backs away from a breaking ball down around his feet for ball one. And like I said, hit him. The Mariners have their third base runner. So breaking ball down and in. Hits Goody, and that'll bring up Robinson Cano, who's bounced into a double play and struck out tonight. Shades of Mr. Snappy right there from Randy Johnson. Randy would throw that hard slider down and into a right-handed hitter. Would hit a lot of right-handed hitters off their back foot, the right foot, and that's where it got Franklin Gutierrez off his right foot on a slider. Robbie overmatched his last time up by sale. First pitch. Swung on off the fist. First baseman Abreu charges, throws to Anderson for one to sale at first. And Robbie beats it out. In fact, it was sale being off the bag. But they get the lead runner. Fielder's choice. The 3 6 to retire Gutierrez. Robbie tried to make something happen quickly. Got a pitch off his hands and a little dribbler to Abreu. Big man made a nice play to come in and get it. And threw a little bit wide to Anderson, a little high to his left, but Anderson mm -hmm. adjusted nicely, threw over to Sale. Sale never got his feet set. Yeah. Might have had a chance to get him had he got his foot on the bag. Yeah, never had his foot on the bag. Nice play by Anderson on a throw with his high into his left. Here's Nelly Cruz, pitch. Fastball outside for ball one tonight. Cruz is 0 for 2, a slicing line drive to right field and a strikeout. Vidal Nuno warming up for the Mariners. It's probably it for Wade LeBlanc. 1 0 from Sale. Checks Cano and a pitch to Cruz. Swung on, popped up. Foul territory. First base side. It's going to go third row back. No play for Abreu. White Sox got a home run and a big one from their shortstop, Tim Anderson, into the upper deck above Edgar's sign in the first inning. And then in the fourth inning, the man aboard, Todd Frazier, went dead central over the 401 side. A two run shot. Here's the 1 1 to Cruz from Sale. Swing on and miss. Nasty slider. Got in on his hand. Swung over the top. Following two strikes to Cruz. Sale hitting Goody into the run of 11 consecutive hitters retired. Still only giving up one hit. Then three base runners, a hit batter, and a walk. 1 2 to Cruz. Pitt swung on and sent to center field. It's going to stay in the yard as Shuck goes back about 10 feet short of the track and left center field makes the catch and it's two down. See if Deho Lee can do something. Nelly now 0 for 3, and it brings up Deho Lee, who's grounded out the third and struck out on a nasty slider, which is almost re get, getting very re repetitive here, Mr. Riz. Oh, my goodness. I mean, he gets his spin rate on that thing must be unbelievable because it gets up the home plate and takes as quick as turn as anybody's breaking pitch in the American League. Deho, big right hand hitter. See if he jumps on the first pitch. He takes it off speed pitch at 85. Upper reaches of the zone for strike one. Three runs, nine hits, no errors. Six left for the White Sox, no runs, one hit, and one left for the Mariners so far. 0 1 to Deo. Pitch swung on a miss. Fastball running away at 92. You mentioned Sale. 4-0 career against the Mariners with a 2-6-6. 2-0 here at Safe Goldfield with a 3-7-7. 
This is his first start of the second half. Atlanta ended his five game winning streak before the first half ended. Here's the next pitch up high for ball one, one and two. And we are seeing plenty of evidence why left handers hitting just 212 against Sale. The right hander's not exactly feasting at 227. One two to De Holy pitch and that hit him a slider. Got him on a left leg. So the Mariners have another base runner here. Cano had reached on a fielder's choice. He'll move to second. And the good news, while it Dale Lee's not having a bunch of laughs right now, but he'll bring the tying run to the plate, Kyle Seeger. And at some point, you hope that Kyle will be able to solve Chris Sale because he's 0 for 2 tonight and 0 for 12 career. He's had two good looks at him, and he did ground out and put the ball in play in the fifth. And a good pass back to the second inning, a well hit ball into the gap. In left center field. Crowd responding to the video board prompts 20,598. Great to see Mr. Seeger get something done here. The RBI leader for the Mariners. Sale comes set. Two out, two on. Pitch to Kyle. Breaking ball. Swung on and missed. Looking to play a little ride, Captain Ride there. Looking for a fastball right here. You got the tying run up there in home plate. Kyle Seeger, 18 home runs on the year. Get to that fastball. Sale from the third base side of the rubber. Left hander comes set. The 0 1 to Seeger. Pitch in tight. He's been working his hands hard all day. Ball one. He's really doing a great job to crowd Seeger. Chris Ionette is on deck. Mariners threatening here in the seventh. Down three, nothing. Chris Sale has struck out five, walked one. He's hit two here in this inning. 1-1 one, one pitch here to Kyle Seeger. Pitch from Sale. Fastball down and in on the corner for strike two. One and two to Kyle. And now he's at Sale's mercy. He's got the good fastball to think about. He's got the slider to think about. He's got the drop-down angle coming sidearm against the left-hand hitter. Got a lot to deal with here. 6'6, 180. Sale comes set. The 1 2 pitch. Fastball swung on. Hopped up. Third base side. Long run. Frazier. And then he's about 10 rows short. Inning started with Gutierrez being hit by a pitch. He was eliminated on a 3 6 fielder's choice. Cruz flied out the center. Dale Lee hit by a pitch. And now Seeger. With two outs and two on, has a one two count. Maybe the biggest pitch in the ball game coming right here. Now, Seeger backs off, so does Sale. Sale wants Navarre to go through the signs again. Puts that back foot, his left foot up against the, the rubber. Glove on his hip, now he comes set. At the belt, the one two to Seeger. Breaking ball swung on and missed. Oh, that's a tough one. So tough. Six strikeouts for sale. No runs, no hits, no errors. Battle. Three nothing White Sox over the Mariners as we go to the top of the eighth. Wade LeBlanc's night is done. Seven innings of nine hit, three run ball, three earned runs, a walk, six Ks, 105 strikeouts, 71 for strikes. But now Nuno is going to take over. And for Nuno, 0 and 1 record of 3-2-5 ERA in 32 ball games, including one start. We'll take you the rest of the way. Here's Rick Ritz. All right, David. Thank you very much. Here we go to the top of the eighth inning. Vidal Nuno takes over for um, Wade LeBlanc. Overall, did a nice job tonight. One walk, six strikeouts along the way. Worked seven innings. Here's the pitch on the way to Melky Cabrera. Strike called 0 and 1. But the story tonight has been the pitching of. Left-hander Chris Sale. Shut up baseball for Sale has given up only one hit. Next offer swing and a line drive into center field. Coming on and in on the run is Martin. Slides and he makes the catch. Leonis Martin at the last second into a quick slide. Able to reach down and make the catch. Cabrera lines out. Got it a little off the end of the bat. Had some sink to it. 
And Martin making a nice catch sliding on that left knee. One out for the White Sox and here is third baseman Todd Frazier. Frazier with a big hit for the Sox back in the fourth inning a two run home run to straightaway center field is 26th home run of the year. Here's the pitch by Nuno a breaking ball for a strike. Oh and one. On deck second baseman Brent Laurie the wind up and the 0 1 pitch. Is outside for ball one one ball and one strike. Frazier back up there waves that bat around. The wind up and the 1 1 swing and a miss. Off speed pitch and the count is 1 and 2 on Frazier. Opening game of the three game series. Wade Miley against Jose Quintana tomorrow night and then Felix Hernandez will start on Wednesday afternoon. Here's the pitch swung on fouled away over the plate and out of play and it's still 1 and 2 on Frazier. So Felix Hernandez coming off the disabilities. He made a couple of rehab starts. He will pitch on Wednesday afternoon. Remember a day game at 1240. Right after that ball game the Mariners head on the road to Toronto. Chicago and Pittsburgh. Here's the pitch swung on fly ball into shallow center coming into his left Martin. He's there and he makes the catch for round number two. Two up two down for the White Sox here in the top of the eighth. They lead it three to nothing. Let's pause. For station identification, this is the Alaska Airlines Mariners Radio Network. Hi, everybody. John Clayton here. Hey, coming up tomorrow, we have Sean Salisbury and Four Downs at 11. We start the show at 10 on 710 KIROAM Seattle. Two outs for the White Sox, top of the eighth. And here's second baseman Brett Laurie. He takes a pitch inside from Nuno, ball one. Laurie is 0 for 3. Here's the pitch. Swung on. Ground ball. Third base line. Backhanded behind the back. Kyle Seeger got it. Toss across in time to get Laurie. Nice play again by Kyle Seeger. And that's it for the White Sox here in the eighth. No runs, no hits, no errors, and no fire. We go to the bottom of the eighth inning. 3 nothing White Sox. Chris Iannetta leads things off for the Mariners, and he takes the slider outside from Chris Sale for ball one. Mariners had their best scoring opportunity against Sale in the bottom of the seventh inning. Left two on the 1-0 pitch. Is outside to Ionetta. Ball two. Two balls and no strikes. Ionetta tonight has flied out to Eaton and Wright and grounded out to Frazier at third. The wind of the pitch. Fastball misses away. Ball three. Three balls and no strikes to count. Sale, the story tonight. Here's the windup and the 3 0 pitch. Ionetta taking. It's a strike. 3 and 1. He'll be followed by Leone Smartin and then Sean O'Malley. No doubt about it. Sale, one of the best the Mariners have seen this year. The next pitch is up and away. Ball four. So Chris Ionetta with a leadoff walk here in the bottom of the eighth inning. And let's see. That's the first walk. Make it the second walk given up by Sale tonight. He's hit two batters and now has walked a couple. And time is called. Pitching coach Don Cooper out of the dugout for Chicago. Right hander warming up down to the bullpen. This visit to the mound brought to you by Proliant Surgeons, the surgical experts serving the Pacific Northwest. Proliant Surgeons. That is Nate Jones warming up for the Chicago White Sox in their bullpen. He's got good numbers too, Rick. Four and two, two, four, five ERA. 40 in the third innings with 42 strikeouts, eight walks. And he's getting loose right now behind Sale. Mariners have one on and nobody out. Cooper making his way back to the White Sox third base dugout. And here is Leonis Martin. Late in the ball game, you got to swing away. Down by three to Sale. Martin has walked and he has struck out. Here's the stretch and the pitch, and he turns the bunt. And it's a strike on the outside corner 0 and 1 but this late in the ball game you can't afford to give up and out. You need three to tie. Sale looks in has the sign here is the stretch. And the 0 1 pitch swinging ground ball to the second baseman up of the ball Laurie over to second for one the relay to first and it's in time for the double play 4 6 3. They get Ionetta at second. They double up Martin at first base. So two outs. Three nothing Chicago bottom of the eighth. 
Well, MLB.TV Premium, the number one live streaming sports service, delivers everything you have come to expect and more. Watch every out-of-market game live in HD on over 400 devices. Includes a free subscription to At Bat, the number one app for live baseball. Visit Mariners.com for details. The pitch to Sean O'Malley. And it's outside for ball one. O'Malley put a charge into a sailed pitch his last time up. And he flew out to deep left center field. Melky Cabrera made a fine running catch on the warning track and then slammed into the wall, fell to the track on his back. The 1 0 pitch to O'Malley outside, ball two, two balls and no strikes. How about Sean O'Malley the last 30 days batting 333 with a 436 on base percentage, slugging 455. Pitch to Sean. Check swing, it's inside, ball three, three balls and no strikes to count. Last 17 games, O'Malley is hitting 367. Here is the windup and the 3 0, and it's outside for ball four, and that's the third walk given up by Mr. Sale. One on with two outs here in the bottom of the eighth. Mariners again need another base runner to get that tying run up to home plate, and here's Daniel Robertson. Robertson has struck out and flied out twice. Last time up, flew out to deep left field with Cabrera making the catch. Chris Sale, 6'6, 180. Slender left hander, plants that back foot in front of the rubber. Out of Lakeland, Florida. It was a first round draft pick by the White Sox in the June draft of 2010 out of Florida Gulf Coast University. Here is the set and the pitch to Robertson in their first strike on one with a fastball at 96. As we said before, if you're good, a major league scout will find you. Florida Gulf Coast University. Here is the stretch and the 0 1 pitch. Slider misses down and away for ball one, one ball and one strike. Colin McHugh got the start yesterday afternoon for the Houston Astros. He went to a little school called Berry College in Mount Berry, Georgia. And was an 18th round draft pick by the Mets. Here's the stretch and a toss over to first base. That'll get O'Malley back to the bag. One on with two outs here in the bottom of the eighth. Three nothing White Sox. They have three runs on nine hits. Mariners no runs, only one hit tonight off his sale. That came back in the first inning. The stretch and the pitch. The Robertson swinging ground ball to the second baseman. Hard hit. Up of the ball is Laurie. Underhand flip to Anderson. The shortstop at second for the force there on Sean O'Malley. And that will retire the side. 0 6 ERA. Six appearances since coming up from Tacoma. He's been up and down a couple of times. Has worked five and a third innings. Avisail Garcia will lead off the ninth inning. The pitch swinging a foul back. And it's 0 and 1. Garcia one for two with a single his last time up in the sixth inning. The big hits for the White Sox tonight have left the ballpark. Tim Anderson a long home run into the upper deck and left in the top of the first inning. And Todd Frazier home run to center. The next offer is swing and a foul back by Garcia. And the count is 0-2. This call to the bullpen brought to you by Seattle's Union Gospel Mission providing hope for homeless men, women, and children since 1932. Rollins looks in. Has the sign from catcher Chris Ionetta, the stretch and the 0 2 check swing and a breaking ball in the dirt. Did he go? He did not. The ball one, one ball and two strikes. White Sox been having a rough time trying to score runs. They have three tonight on nine base hits. They've scored only one run in their previous four games. They're shut out three times during that stretch. The one two swing and a foul back and out of play over the screen this time and the count is still one and two on Garcia. Garcia batting 235 home runs 28 runs batted in. One for 20 last 20 at bats only one hit coming into the ball game has a hit tonight. Here's the stretch and the one two pitch swing and a foul behind home plate. And the count stays at a ball at two strikes. Sox trying to snap their four game losing skid. White Sox 
Made everybody stand up and notice on the south side back in 2005 when they won the American League pennant and the World Series that year against Houston. Here's the one two pitch swing and a foul off the catcher Ionetta. And the count is still one and two on Garcia battling David Rollins. Well, what a year that was for the guys in the south side of Chicago. That was their first World Series title in 88 years. Their previous World Series win, you got to go way back to 1917. Here's the stretch. And again, the one two to Garcia, swinging another foul off of Ionetta. Back behind home plate it goes. The count is still a ball and two strikes. Their previous World Series appearance was back in 1959 against the Los Angeles Dodgers. Dodgers won that. In six games, the stretch and the one two pitch up and in, ball two, two balls and two strikes to Garcia. The Cubbies on the north side haven't won since what, 1908. Here's the stretch and the two two. Swing and a fly ball into shallow right field coming up and having to play it on a hop is. Gutierrez Franklin Gutierrez started to come in and then put on the brakes wasn't sure if he could get to it and it drops in front of him for a base hit and that ball may have stayed in the bank of lights on that third base side yeah, there was a hesitation there because yeah. he usually is on the attack and that, that's very discomforting when you have it and all of a sudden it disappears in the lights it gets in there and stays in there for a while but Goody had to play it on the hop. So a leadoff single for Avisel Garcia. Sox lead 3 nothing here in the top of the ninth. Here's J.B. Shuck. The stretch and the pitch. A fastball is low for ball one. Close to third base is Kyle Seeger. Outfield is straight away. Robertson in left. Martin in center. Goody in right. Here's the stretch by Rollins and the lefties 1 0 pitch swing and a foul ball out of play down the left field side and the count is even on Chuck and one ball and one strike. JB with the White Sox last year hit 266 no home runs 15 runs batted in. Rollins looks in gets a sign from Chris Ionetta. Garcia, little lead at first, held on by Lee, the stretch, and the 1 1 runner goes, pitch on the way, a strike, thrown out a second by Ionetta, and it's in time to get Abasel Garcia trying to steal. Chris Ionetta with a throw on the money to shortstop Sean O'Malley, covering second on the play. Garcia out at second, one away for the White Sox here in the top of the ninth, and nice throw right there by Chris Ionetta. And a good tag by Sean O'Malley. Accurate. On time. And base runner came up a little bit short anyway. Here's the pitch. A swing and a line drive the other way into left field for a base hit. And the ball skips on by Robertson. Gets behind him. Shuck the second. He'll make the turn and stop there. Up with the ball, Robertson. Now the throw to third. So J.B. Shuck with a single. And he'll take second on the air by the left fielder, Daniel Robertson. Hard hit ball the other way right at Robertson and landed in front of him but the ball just underneath his glove as he tried to get to it. Well he right. didn't have good balance there. His, his feet were very close together. Didn't have his butt down the way he usually would do it. He'd be the first one to tell you that. And now the White Sox have a run around at second with one out. Here in the top of the ninth inning Sox lead it three to nothing and here is Deanna Navarro. Who has single twice fly to left the pitch swung on a little pop up right in front of the mound right there is the pitcher Rollins and Dave says you know what I can catch this I got a glove on and he does and it was up and down in a hurry so Dave Rollins takes care of it the pitcher a pop up right to him and there's two outs for the White Sox here in the ninth and here is leadoff batter Adam Eaton. Mariners and the White Sox tomorrow night game time is 7-10 Wade Miley against Jose Quintana then remember Wednesday afternoon, final game of the series in the homestand. Game time is 12:40, and Felix Hernandez will get the start, coming off the disabled list. Here is the stretch and the pitch to Eaton up high with a fastball, ball one, and you know 
you know the king is chomping at the bit to get out there on the safe go field mound. Been on the DL for a long time with that strained calf. He had a rehab assignment up in Everett. He had a rehab assignment a few days ago down in Tacoma. Pitched well, five and two thirds innings, struck out seven, walked one. The stretch and the 1 0 pitch on the way to Eaton. Swung on, ground ball to O'Malley at short, charging one hands it on the run, the throw to first, and time to get Eaton who can run, and that'll end the inning. And the top of the ninth for the White Sox. No runs, two hits, one air, and one man left on. Last try for the Mariners as we go to the bottom of the ninth inning. Throw your cable company the Frontier Changeup. Switch the files from Frontier and get up to $400 in Amazon.com gift cards. Details at jlikesfrontier.com. Here we go to the bottom of the ninth inning. White Sox lead 3 to nothing. Sox closer David Robertson will take over in relief. 0-1 record. A 3.22 ERA, 35 appearances. He has 23 saves. That's it for Chris Sale. He was outstanding tonight for Chicago. Franklin Gutierrez is up there. Here is the pitch. Strike called 0-1. Goody with the only hit off a of sale tonight. Sale went eight innings of shutout baseball. Gave up one hit. Goody singled the center in the first. Walked three, hit two. He struck out six. Here's the stretch by Robertson and the 0-1 on the way. Check swing and it's high for ball one. One ball and one strike. Rick, 100 pitches for sale, 59 for strikes. He was absolutely brilliant. Tremendous job by Sale. That fastball slider combination. Here's the set by Robertson and the right hander's 1 1 pitch. Swing and a line drive in a center field. A base hit for Goody. Up of the ball is shot. Gets the throw in. So Franklin Gutierrez with a leadoff single trying to ignite a rally and trying to get this crowd in the ball game. And they're starting to make some noise. Well, be the kid, regardless of age. Join us as we wrap up. Ken Griffey Jr. weekend with a replica jersey giveaway on Sunday, August the 7th. The first 20,000 fans will pick up a throwback jersey he wore his rookie year thanks to Nike. Pick up tickets at Mariners.com. Jr. going to the Hall of Fame on Sunday afternoon in Cooperstown, New York. Here's Robinson Cano. Mariners need another base runner to get the tying run of the plate. Robertson ready. The stretch delivers to Cano, and it's a curve that's inside for ball one. Mariners glad to see Sale out of there. Eight scoreless innings for Chris Sale. Came in with a 3.380 ERA. Here's the set by Robertson. And the 1 0 pitch to Cano. Swing and a chopper towards second baseman Lori. Charges the little toss over to second to Anderson. The shortstop in time to get a force at second on Franklin Gutierrez. Cano is safe at first base, a 4 6 fielder's choice. One on, one out, bottom of the ninth. 3 0 White Sox. Lori wanted to come in, wanted to get to that ball, trying to put a tag on Gutierrez, but he was beyond Lori, and then Lori had to toss the ball over to Anderson. So they get the force at second base on Gutierrez. One on, one away. And here is Nelson Cruz. Mighty quick ball game tonight. Here at Safeco Field. Aaron is looking for a late, 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 late comeback here in the bottom of the ninth. Here's Cruz. He was 0 for 3 against Sale tonight. Robertson looks in the stretch. And he delivers. Swing and a foul off the screen behind home plate by Nelly. And it's 0 and 1. Mariners one and two to start the second half of the season. Just lost two out of three to the Astros. Now taking on the White Sox here at Safeco Field. Cano lead at first base, held on there by Jose Abreu. Here's the pitch, and it's low and away on Cruz for ball one, one ball, then one strike. On deck for the Mariners, first baseman Day Ho Lee. So the big bats coming up here, batting now in the ninth inning. Here's the stretch. And the 1-1 one, one pitch to Cruz, and it's low and outside for ball two. Two balls and a strike. Robertson, 36 in the third innings in relief. He's given up 31 hits. Just two home runs, 20 walks, and 43 strikeouts. League batting 230 against them. 
The stretch hand, the 2-1 to Nelly, swing and a foul tip into the glove of the catcher, Deano Navarro, as the count evens at two balls and two strikes. Nelly with that barely a leg kick, just lifts up his foot, puts it back down, gets that foot down in a hurry, that timing device for him. Open stance. Up there at home plate, the set by Robertson, and the 2-2 pitch is low and inside with a fastball, not by much. Ball three, full count three and two. Nelly just stares into the night sky, and now steps back in to face Robertson. Trying to keep the inning going here in the bottom of the ninth inning. Could all lead it first with one out. Three nothing Chicago, the set. And now time is called by Cruz as he backs away from home plate. There it is in the White Sox tomorrow night. Game time. 7-10. We'll see you on the radio at 6. Wade Miley against Jose Quintana. Felix Hernandez on Wednesday afternoon. Here is the set. And the 3-2 pitch to Cruz on the way. And it's outside for ball four. And the Mariners will bring the tying run up to home plate in day holy. We have seen this ball club battle time and time again to get back in the ball game. And now they get the tying run up to the dish. In Dejo Lee, time is called. Catcher Deano Navarro out to the mound. They have a talk with Robertson. Dejo Lee must love hearing that song. I mean, who knew when he'd come to America today? Well, you wrote a song for me? And they go for it. With Dejo up there at home plate. Big man pinwheels that bat around. First and second one out. The stretch. And the pitch on the way to Lee. And it's low and inside with a fastball for ball one. Dejo against Sale. Grounded out to Frazier at third. Struck out. It was hit by a pitch. Dejo Lee. Big man. 12 home runs. Man, he'd love number 13 right here. Here's the stretch. And the one nothing pitch. Check swing and a breaking ball down in the way. Did he go, though? Yes, he did. All plate umpire Joe West made that call. And the count is even on Lee at one ball and one strike. Cano on at second. Cruz the runner at first base. One out. Here's the set. And the 1-1 pitch is inside. Ball two. Two balls and a strike. A little bit low as well. And now Lee has a count in his favor. He has hit safely in eight of his last 11 games for an average of 282. Outfield straight away and deep. Here's the stretch. And the Robertson 2 1 pitch to Lee. Check swing. It's a strike, a fastball. Toward the outside corner, the count is even on Lee at two balls and two strikes. We have seen Dejo with two strikes drive the ball the other way. The Mariners look at hit the old pay station for the first time tonight. They trail 3-0 here in the bottom of the ninth inning. Runners their leads. And the 2-2 to Lee. Swing and a miss at an off-speed pitch for strike three. And the Mariners have two down here in the bottom of the ninth. Strike on number one for David Robertson. Let's pause for station identification. This is the Alaska Airlines Mariners Radio Network. Hey, Mariners fans. Mike Salk here the Brock and Salk Show. Two weeks from tonight, the team will look very different, potentially, as the trade deadline will have come and gone. In fact, they'll get Felix back this Wednesday night. How will things change when the King returns? We'll discuss tomorrow morning at 7 o'clock on Brock and Salk, 710 ESPN, KIRO, AMC. Well, the final hope for the Mariners right now, third baseman Kyle Seeger. He still represents the tie and run at home plate. First and second, two outs. The stretch and the pitch. It's low for ball one. Not by much. Kyle Seeger, 0 for 3 on the night. But right now he's got Cano on its second and Cruz over there at first base with two outs. 3 nothing White Sox. Seeger with 18 home runs on the year. Robertson will look back at Cano. Here's the 1-0. And it's a strike on the outside corner. Slow breaking ball. And the count is even on Seeger at one ball and one strike. It just takes one mistake out over the plate. And this guy can tie up the game with one swing of the bat. On deck is Chris Iannetta. Here's the stretch. 
And the 1 1 pitch low and inside for ball two. Two balls and a strike. Time is called. Home plate umpire Joe West. There's some new baseballs from the Mariner Bat Boy. And now, as we take a look at the on deck circle, it's occupied by Adam Lynn. Kyle Seeger, should he get on, Lynn would come up to hit. Seeger settles inside the left side of the batter's box. Two on, two away. Kyle, the final hope for the Mariners tonight. Here is the set. By Robertson and the 2 1 pitch. Swing and a soft liner to center field. Drops in a base hit. Hit on Ronnie Third, heading home. He will score. Mariners are on the board. Down to second goes Cruz. RBI single with two outs for Kyle Seeger. The Mariners' hopes are still alive. It's the White Sox three and the Mariners one. And now the Mariners have the tie run at first base. And the winning run will come to the plate. And Adam Lynn out to pinch it for Chris Ian and Kyle Seeger comes through in the clutch. Great job by Seeger, especially coming off the tough day he had yesterday, both at the plate and in the field. Don Cooper, the pitching coach, coming out to talk to Robertson. And now what an opportunity here for Adam Lynn. Big left-hand power hitter. And let's go back to June 24th, right here at Safeco Field, when Adam Lynn, in a game that Wade LeBlanc started like he did tonight, when Adam Lynn hit a walk-off home run to beat the St. Louis Cardinals 4-3. Can he have a little more magic here at Safeco Field one more time? He has four career walk-off home runs. The Mariners have four walk-off home runs this year. And Lynn got it done back on June the 24th with that walk-off home run against St. Louis. Here we go. Runners on at first and second. Two outs, a run in. 3-1 Chicago. The set by Robertson. Here's the look in. And now the pitch on the way to Lynn. A swing and a miss. As Robertson starts him off with an off-speed breaking ball, and the count is 0 and 1. Adam Lynn, 227 average, 13 home runs, and 39 runs batted in. He's three for 12 against Robertson. Runners their leads, Cruz and Seager, second and first, respectively. The stretch and the 0-1 pitch, swing and a fly ball, deep right center field. Back she goes, and this one is going to be gone. Goodbye, baseball. He did it again. Adam Lynn with a walk-off three-run home run here in the bottom of the ninth inning. Mariners win it four to three. His second walk-off of the year. It just got out of here to right center field. Adam Lynn with a pinch hit. Three run home run here in the bottom of the ninth inning. Holy smokes. They are going crazy here at Safeco Field. The Mariners win for the 47th time with their fifth walk off home run of the year and the second one for Adam Lynn. Would you believe it? What a finish tonight here at Safeco. Lynn.